This is Nautica, the oil tanker that will replace the FSL Safer. The decaying vessel is threatening to spill more than a million barrels of oil into the Red Sea. It's a big day for Houthi officials. They are joining the signing ceremony of an agreement that allows Yemen's Safa company to own and run the new tanker. We reached a deal to prevent a disaster that would affect the entire region, affect fishermen. With millions of dollars, we are preventing a potential catastrophe that would have cost billions. This is the man who played a crucial role in galvanizing international opinion against the threats of a major oil spill. David Gressley is the resident and humanitarian coordinator for the United Nations. The global fundraising he launched generated more than a hundred million dollars needed to salvage the Safa moored off the coast of Hodeida and buy this new vessel. Uh, that took a long time to convince everybody, a government's private sector, that this was actually viable. And I, I can understand why, why people would be skeptical given the multiple attempts to deal with it in the past that did not succeed. Um, and, and the fact that it was still very active as a, as a, as a civil war. But the Safa isn't just an environmental threat. Since the start of the war eight years ago, it has become a divisive political issue. The internationally recognized government of Yemen, based in Aden, say they are the ones who should own the Safa and the Nautica, and that the revenues from the sale of the oil stuck on the Safa should be transferred to its accounts. The Houthis control Hudayda, Sana'a and the north and say they are the legitimate authority in Yemen. 85% of the population in Yemen lives in the areas controlled by the government of Sana'a. We have shown they are able to stand for the rights and interests of the Yemenis. We will preserve Yemen's assets. The Nautica will be moored next to Safa so the oil can be transferred. The risk of a major oil spill may be diminishing, but the site remains tightly guarded. Technical support teams are operating non-stop. Any damage to the old and poorly maintained Safa could discharge its cargo of oil and devastate marine ecosystems in the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden and Suez Canal. The arrival of the Nautica Yemen is a milestone. It took months of negotiations with all the warring factions as well as the international community to get to this point. The UN hopes this will lead to the start of talks to end the conflict and heal the political divide. Hashim al-Bara al-Jazeera off the coast of Hodeida, Yemen.